Everything's changed! Stop! Oh no, they can't hear me. They'll die because of me. Six, two, five. This is Ideological Support Senior Political Officer Brittany speaking. What is it, citizen? Uh, good day, officer. I... What? I can't hear a damn thing. Ah, there's buzzing in the receiver like a train is coming. Louder, citizen, louder. I'm at the train station and my train's leaving. Do you know how I can stop it? This doesn't really fit into our main ideology, but there's an emergency cabinet at the station. Inside the cabinet, there should be a shortwave radio. Unless it's been stolen, you can use it to contact the train's crew. Thank you. I can take it from here. Thanks for now, officer. Goodbye. Not much to think about here. It's time to act. Hmm. The cabinet's tied up with rope. All I can see through the keyhole is that it's dark. What could the combination be? I'll come back later. Press the space bar if you want to see some magic, even though. Hello, sir. I. Hey! Can you hear me? Press I'm talking to you! And huh. you're gonna see. Death is a doorknob. Listen, comrade, living in Matryoshka isn't easy, but he's a big. Six. Two. Five. Senior Political Officer Bretniev. What is it, citizen? I have a problem with a combination lock. Three digits. Then you could have done what any sensible man would have done. Write down the combination somewhere nearby. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I did, in fact, do that. I I'll go check if I didn't leave it inside the other cabinet. I want to open a cabinet, and I don't know how to go about it. I assume there's something ideologically very important inside. I hope so, too. Then, it depends on how it's closed. If it's locked using a key, then you need to find the right key. If it's closed using, let's say, less permanent means, then you could try cutting through with something sharp. Thank you, support officer. Thanks for now, officer. Goodbye. Life isn't writing. Press the space bar and you're gonna see. Listen, comrade, little Mikriyoshka. Isn't he? See, but there is a wage. You don't need any cheats of war. All in all, life is just about finding the right key. There's no need to press the space bar if you want to see some magic, even though life isn't like typewriter. Vanya, you're dumb and stupid, but you know I love you, so if you forget the combination again, call me. M. Four. Two. Zero. Hello? I it's me, Vanya. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you. Your voice sounds different. You were eating pickles again, weren't you? Huh? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, listen, this is very urgent. Mom? Did, did you just call me your mom? Oh, you're drunk. You're at work. And you know that... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't drink anything. You were eating pickles after all. I knew it! You're sleeping 
on the couch tonight. Uh, okay, okay, but now I need the combination to my lock. It's my birthday. I'm kidding. Don't worry, Vanya. I wouldn't do that to you. Seven, seven, seven. Will you remember that? Three sevens. And don't worry about the pickles. You'll feel better in the evening. Uh, thank you. Time's a-wasting, so... A-wasting? You're talking funny! Vanya, you want to hear what I'll do to you in bed tonight? My furry wolverine? Ha! <laughs> oh, whew. I'll call you later. Uh, bye! And the correct combination is... Seven, seven, seven. Yes, it worked. A shortwave radio. Maybe I can contact the train driver. Can show you how to live correctly when you're lost. There's no need to press the space bar if you want to see something. Ah, live reception. Press the space bar and you're gonna see. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Stop the train immediately! But, uh, Comrade Leader, for the... Uh, uh, the situation has changed. Just a few days ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be in a situation like this. I was a simple, young journalist back then, speaking at an international conference on the beautiful idea that is communism. <clears throat> Good day, sir. Sorry, uh, there's no entry here. The program is live. And, uh, good day to you too, sir. Uh, while I appreciate your diligence, I am one of the speakers. I I'm afraid I'm tardy, but I really must get inside. Uh, my speech is a glorious message that will enlighten and empower the good folks here. Mr. Tardy, eh? I find it strange that you're afraid of your own name, but let me check the list. Uh, no, no, I I'm tardy, uh, not... I'm tardy. I'm Kowalski. Evan Kowalski. And I'm tardy. I'm sorry. I, I don't have a Mr. Kowalski or a Mr. Tardy on the list of speakers. My speech fits the theme of the conference perfectly, since it's about communism and... But what? I, I must be on that list. Uh, besides, I, I received an invitation from you. Please, show it to me and we can clear all of this up. Hmm. That is indeed an invitation from us. I told you. Please accept my apologies. I was not informed there was a schedule change. Uh, I think I can squeeze you in during the coffee break. Please proceed to the stage. Thank you. Oh, and don't worry. While you're walking across the stage, our producer will definitely be playing commercials. Good morning. My name is Sean Redkick, and I represent the people of New Pork. Blood Red Socialism is pouring in across the borders of our world. We can't just stand idly by and watch as the enemies of freedom undo what our fathers fought for. We're not gonna watch men die face down in the muck in this bloody war on the peninsula so that the Red Invasion can secretly pour into our country. Communist evil. Uh, communist evil. It's like a real Santa Claus. Thanks. Communist evil is like a real-life Santa Claus. Because it, uh, well, it sneaks into our houses, doesn't it? And eats up all our cookies, leaves us presents that we have to return because no one wants another pair of socks. Wait, that's not what communist evil does. What the hell am I saying? As we all know, Enemy intelligence agents have infiltrated our country. They could even be here right now in our midst. Like, for example, right there. 
Or over there. Maybe you're one. Or your lovely wife there. Yeah, she could definitely be one. She's got that gummy look, all right. Or you. You. Or you. Yes, you are a communist spy. A sleeper agent working in the shadows. And such agents, uh... They are called love. Yes. These sleeper agents are called love and sin. And since love can't exist without sin, well, I mean, we're getting into some philosophical territory here, but... No! That's not what I wanted to say at all. I urge you all to stay vigilant, and even the smallest symptom, the barest hint of communist activity, should be reported to the authorities immediately. In closing, I would like to... You wanted to thank me. In closing, I would like to thank my prompter, who tried so hard to ruin my presentation. As I've just been informed by our producer, instead of our planned break, we will have an unplanned guest. It just so happens I have already had the displeasure of being smeared in his rag of a newspaper. I'm sure you'll all love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Kowalski. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. First, I need to show the slides and play the glorious Matryoshkin National Anthem. The slides aren't working. I must have forgotten to do something. <laughs> Dang, there's something wrong with the screen. Hurry up! People are waiting for the speech to begin. You know, I am prepared to give a slide presentation, and at the risk of you calling me Mr. Prepared, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that there's no canvas on the projector screen. Mr. Kowalski, please understand you weren't on the list, so we didn't receive any instructions regarding your needs. Fortunately, we are professionals, so I have some canvas right here. There will be a break soon, and someone will install it. No, no. Uh, no need for a break. I'll put it up myself in no time. The working class of the cities and farms isn't afraid of a little hard work. As you wish. Here you go. The projector canvas. Okay, I'm going back to the stage. The screen... Boo! 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 
I still need to show the slides. Just a moment. Damn, my whole speech is out of order. My teacher said I had cognitive issues. Good morning, comrades. Those in the studio and those watching at home. If you're thinking, where have I seen this dapper gentleman before, then perhaps you were in Booniesville several days ago at the HASP Manufacturers Conference, where I spoke about the responsibility of the working class in building a single class society. A little about me. My name is Evan Kowalski, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Daily Worker Monthly. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend buying a subscription. I have come here today, quite unexpectedly, with a very important, exciting ideological message. Communism is good. In fact, communism is the best. Boo! Boo! <laughs> There is no room in our country for communism. Shut your commie mouth, Evan. Get lost! <laughs> now, gentlemen, there's no need to get angry. Are you telling our viewers that poor people shouldn't have more money? Do you hate the poor? Are you against the idea that every human being is equally important and entitled to a fair chance? Are we not all humanitarians? I won't be part of this farce. And there, you see? He runs away using his costly running shoes. Do the poor not deserve to run? I wonder if one of my other colleagues will engage me in a debate. I'm interested to see how they will claim that education, culture, and industry is not in our common national good, and how every citizen should not have the same equal rights to reap their benefits? Enough! Ha! See? That's what I thought. No one's brave enough for such a challenging discussion. Okay then, let's move on to the powerful beacon that is beautiful Matryoshka. Located just behind the Iron Curtain between the Capitalist Union and the Socialist Alliance. Boo! Get off the stage! Uh, Matryoshka serves as a shining example of communism done right. Get off the stage, Kami! All glory and honor belongs to the leader who infallibly and confidently leads his nation towards a bright future. Get out of here before I burn the building down! I'm picking up on a little tension in the room, so uh, how about a joke? Uh, uh, what would we have in the States if we didn't have capitalism? Everything! <laughs> I'm at the meeting of the party. Make it quick. Glory to Matryoshka, comrade leader. Ah, Major Orlova. How's your uh, vacation at Uncle Sam? More fruitful than ever. Please turn on the capitalist channel, Comrade Leader. What the hell? Comrade Leader. <sighs> I see you found me a very interesting souvenir. Bring him to me at once. Yes, Comrade Leader. For the glory of Matryoshka. <laughs>
in the leader's heart. Uh, in conclusion to this undoubtedly illuminating speech, I will tell you, comrades, my greatest wish that one day our nations will join together and goose step, I, I mean, uh, march uh, together in the one true direction towards a stronger state. Join together with Matryoshka. Stop the program! I thank you, comrades, for your attention, and I wish you a good day. This is an outrage, Mr. Kowalski. Thank you. I mean, I know political discourse can become disagreeable, but to throw perfectly good fruit at a man for his views is an unconscionable breach of common courtesy. I was talking about your presentation. Now then, please get out and never come here again. Ah, one more thing. We'll send you the cleaning bill. What? Well then, I'll expect you to deliver the tomatoes with it. I'll make ketchup. Goodbye. Wonderful presentation. The Matryoshkan authorities are impressed with your work. As am I. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Miss... Uh... I'm Anna. Anna Iglov. Someone will contact you once you get home. In case of any emergency, this envelope will help you contact me. We'll meet again soon, Comrade Haven. Anna. Authorities. Envelope. Wait, what? 